the Dewey Decimal System. It all starts with numbers. The good news is you already know a lot of how to do this. So let's just review how to put numbers in order in the Dewey Decimal System. The first thing you need to know is every Dewey Decimal System number will have at least three digits. Three, six, seven. Three is the first one, six is the second one, seven is the next one. You will never have a number that's just like 31. Not that 31 isn't included. It just has a zero in front of it. If you were to put these two numbers in order from least to greatest, you'll look at each digit one by one. The first digit is a zero and a three. So obviously, 031 will come before 367. Let's look at another example. Here's an example, 599.3, 599.14. The first digits are the same, they are both a 5. The next digit is the same, they are both a 9. Again, the digits are the same, 9. After the decimal, we have a 3 and a 1. 1 is less than 3, so 599.14 is a smaller number than 599.3. So you flip them, and now they're in order, even though the 14 looks longer than the 3. Next example. Again, the first three digits are all the same. After the decimal, we again have the same digit of two. We have to go all the way to this digit. We now have a three and an eight. Of course, three is less than eight, so they are already in order from least to greatest. Now we have a few more numbers, but we're going to evaluate them the same way. We look at the first digit, they're all sixes. We look at the next digit, they're all threes. Now look, we have our first difference. We have two sixes here. We need to take those two numbers and decide which one is least. Looking at the next digit after the six, we have a zero and we have an eight. Of course, zero is less than eight. Now back to our two remaining numbers. They both have an eight in the third place, so we know we can go to the next number. We have a two and an eight. Two is less than eight. So in order, it will come before 638.83. For our last example, it looks like just a bunch of zeros and ones. This can get confusing. So let's go through it one digit at a time. You start and they all start with a zero. The next is they're all ones. Still, we cannot place them in any different order. Again, a one. The first difference we see is right after the decimal. We have two numbers with zeros and two with ones. So these two numbers will come out and we'll need to decide which of these two go first. So we'll go to the next digit. They're both one again. We go and there's no digit after the top one, but there's a one here. When you have a nothing, that it could also be a zero. So the top number is less than the second number. So we go back to the two remaining numbers and again, in the tenth spot, they have the same digit of one, but the next spot, we have a blank and a one. So we know the top number is less than the bottom number.